Oh my lord! Great day today. My wife and uh, my brother hit the squat rack today at the gym. It was great to watch. They did an amazing job and it's gotten me pretty hyped. Uh, but yeah, descriptions have the links for the videos and this will be a playlist of Internet Historian videos. I've been a fan of Internet Historian for a very long time. I even got a chance to be in a couple Internet Historian videos, just my voice. And uh, that was definitely like one of the uh, collabs of a lifetime. Uh, I feel like I let him down because I actually messaged him about some of like the other projects we were working on that like never finished. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, man. We decided to take trips. Then COVID happened. It's been crazy out here. Shit. And then like I'm still shooting fucking reaction vids like a goddamn loser. I don't know. I'm fucking burnt out, dude. Shit. But uh, yeah, we had some other projects we were working on, and they just kind of like sputtered. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get into this. Play. This is true, uh, true entertainment, man. He definitely should just fucking take all these vids, sign a contract, and then produce a Netflix special of this same shit. Inhale. I can finally breathe again. It must be over. Scanning for traces <laughs> of human life. Shit. 5G scanners activate. He saw the Kraken on there. Nothing detected. The species <laughs> Homo sapien is extinct. It's time to fulfill my purpose. Executing Operation Ice to See You. Ice to See You? Bro, there are so many fucking jokes. This, this, his videos are always so dense. I love it. I fucking love it. Welcome back. Let me brief you this on how. Cool. The world ended. Bro, is this fucking like, is this sponsorship with all these Kraken G4 stuff, or are you just fucking memeing, bro? Sorry for cousin. So Actually, much, the details are a bit foggy, but it's believed ah. that a bad man was eating soup with his hands at a Chinese restaurant when someone coughed on the croutons. <laughs> Trapped him. Sort of January 2020. Have, sorry, hold on. In 2020, a short of the toilet paper had gripped every. Bro, you're not lying. In Australia, too, it happened, bro. It was crazy. It actually, we actually ran out of toilet paper out here. Like, no joke. Well, I went over substitute they could find, but supplies of paper. Official. I'm not reading this to you guys. Read on your own. I'm not your dad. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> One day you look up and yell out for toilet paper, and I will whisper, no. <laughs> Only on PlayStation. All right, let's get it. January 2020. The virus is spreading across the globe. All right, now everyone just pops over dead and we win. Sweet. And everyone was amped to start panicking. Oh my God. The virus TM is everywhere. In your country, in your homes, in your cereal. Better not touch that door handle. Better not touch your face. Don't touch me. Breathe somewhere else, Vector. People said, oh. I didn't know what Tales of the Varus was, but it's virus with a... I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Oh, I suppose it is kind of cute though. No, I must resist. Guys, uh, does anyone else feel like the air in here is kind of chunky? How do I take my white cell count? These ones all look red. You get the idea. My brother felt that, went to the ER, now he got COVID. So that's how it is, internet story. The air is messed up out here, dog. They're getting sick out here, So bro. naturally, rumors started to spread. And the first one was about toilet paper. Facts. Hey, um, I heard that here in Australia, 90% of our toilet paper is produced in China. Maybe that means they'll be able to stop. So the public went out to grab an extra pack. Facts. Then the news stories started coming in about the lockdown. Oh! Fears real. Oh, so they grabbed two packs. No one yep. knew how long the lockdown would last either. Better grab three. I don't and get it! Four just in case. And everyone had that same concern. Within yeah. the week, stocks on shelves were getting noticeably low. And from the there, it was self perpetuating. Bathroom paper was suddenly the hottest commodity in town. They were Petrol stations, corner know. stores, major chain supermarkets, everybody was out. 
Then, of course, photos shared on social media and broadcast on television of empty shelves just amplified the hysteria again. Yeah. I just want one pack. To which the media them. said, don't buy it. But also, it is running out. But don't stock up. But who knows when new stock is coming. But don't, but get, don't get it though. But it may be many weeks before you can get more. But like, the message like, to the public was a little mixed. You're saying to the nation this morning, Ali, stay calm, don't go and do it. But race out there and get it so that you're not... <laughs> then, as stock completely depleted, people were becoming desperate. Every store I go to, every day, every city, and every hour of every day, you're going to find completely empty shelves. Fights broke out between those who had none and those who had oh, too she much. snapped that shit up. It was chaos in the aisles. Round one. Uh oh. Fight. Uh oh. Yeah. 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 She's taking them both on. The Australian the toilet roll crisis hard. had reached critical mass. People were threatening to shit in the store, and someone even pulled a knife. He's a knife. Enough. The CEO of Australia came out and said, It's been one of the most disappointing things I've seen in Australian behaviour in response to this crisis. But that scolding did little to quell the frenzy. So, the media published articles informing people that 60% of Australia's toilet paper is produced domestically. But that also didn't quell the frenzy. Right. So, supermarkets enacted a one-pack per person rule. Latest part. But frenzies cannot be quelled. And so that's when the price online soared. Sure Amazon, eBay, Gumtree, toilet paper was everywhere. What the fuck is Gumtree? First for double the price, then triple. Then things just went wild. Ten packs, single rolls, a few pieces of three ply, all for crazy prices. A few pieces People went of from selling it by the pack to selling it by the gram. <laughs> Number two large. And the rest of us who couldn't afford it had to get creative. <laughs> Oh, shut up. You wouldn't steal a toilet paper. But fear not, citizen. Here come the heroes. <laughs> One of Australia's state newspapers swooped in with a special edition to save the day. That's cute. It featured eight blank pages at the back, just in case. By the way, this was after an Australian family had accidentally made a massive online order. They thought they were getting 48 rolls. Wrong. They were getting 48 boxes. Holy and soon they had shit. become the de facto royalty of Australia. They built a throne with the boxes and sat aloft it. They actually did this? I found the crown of Australia in the gutter, he said. And I picked it up. Okay. But for the rest of us common folk, Thievery was the only answer. We began stealing from public toilets. Yeah. We began stealing from work. A new survey has found one in three Aussies has stolen toilet paper from work to use at home. Some started stealing from hotels, stealing from cars, stealing oh from God. the blind. Even oh, animals no. were stealing. Oh, that's funny. It's a pretty good memes, though. Wait, these are, this shit's quality, bro. And just as some relief was coming, Thank God, a new shipment. But that truck burned down. <gasps> Fire crews rescued what rolls they could. The rest left charred and soggy. Fascinatingly, a problem which began in and was specific to Australia was soon spreading to the rest of the world, despite the circumstances being completely different. In fact, stats time. In most countries, the majority of toilet paper is actually produced locally. Yeah. Toilet paper is cheap but bulky, meaning it's expensive to ship relative to its retail value. So domestic producers are often able to manufacture at a cost lower than their international competitors. TLDR, unless the factories in your country shut down, there right. isn't going to be a shortage. Like at all. And there's a, a warehouse like in Vegas and all they have is a bunch of like fucking toilet paper and like paper goods and shit. And I struggled to explain to people, it's right there. There's no way you bought all of it. Absolutely no way. But shut up and panic. No. And so toilet paper became a highly profitable business. And that's when organized criminal gangs moved in. 
What? Armed robbers in Hong Kong held a delivery driver at knife point and got away with around 600 rolls. Dope. 18,000 pounds of toilet paper was stolen from this lorry. And this, and this, and this, and many more. But it's time to move on. After about four weeks with consumption steady and everyone only having one asked wipe, and supply increasing to compensate, toilet paper returned to shelves. The balance was restoring. The shops were healing. Which meant it was time to panic about something else. I can feel the 5G, 5G, in, my, 5G in my veins. So you think it's a virus? That's cute. Let me fill you in on the scoop, rookie. See that I didn't tower know this over was there? Real. Now look at this. Coincidence? <laughs> five G's, five fingers, five sides to a pentagram. Right. PlayStation 5. five. Awful lot of coincidences Ooh. lining up, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and social media agreed. With these indisputable facts, such as I have headache. It was only inevitable that the word would spread like a wildfire. Uh -huh. It was time for the 5G squad to leap into action. 5G squad! Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, that lady from that movie, Gwyneth Alien. Paltrow. People began protesting the 5G towers. Save lives! Hug yes, someone! Save lives! the 5G, 5G network! And the destruction. <laughs> If I get arrested, I do not want my last words to be 5G network. Help me. Mm. Help me out, bro. I had no idea really until I started digging. Wait, this but is in the real? UK, over 50 towers Shut were vandalized or set ablaze up. in a single month. Reported by April, 39 servicing engineers had been attacked on the job. Why? You know when they turn this on, it's going to kill everyone, and that's why they're building the hospitals? In North Carolina, <laughs> one woman just started opening fire on a couple of technicians. Holy there were two shit. workers up on the tower when the shots rang out. A third worker on the ground ran up into this area, and that's where he called for help. The two men were okay, but when police came, she armed herself with two axes and Get barricaded herself in her home. Get the fuck out of here. Did you shoot at a cell tower worker, ma'am? She's out on bond, and she's had the weapons confiscated. New 5G. Stimulate your senses. <laughs> in Auckland, New Zealand, at least a dozen 5Gs have been vandalized or set ablaze. Mysterious fires have hit 15 cell towers in the wow. last six weeks. In the Netherlands, 16. Reports of more in Ireland, Cyprus and Belgium. Counter-terrorist police are getting involved in Australia. And seven cell tower fires in Montreal, Canada. Holy Although, shit. one big problem. How do you tell 5G? from the regular That's G's. what I'm saying. You strap yourself in and feel the G's. Well, it's not actually that easy for the untrained eye. Most of the destroyed towers were actually just regular ones, carrying essential <laughs> 2 to 4G network infrastructure, causing outages for emergency services and the public. Naturally, YouTube and Facebook started cracking down on the 5G conspiracy groups and banning everyone. And the movement has gone somewhat underground. Until where? <gasps> oh my god, they're in on it. <laughs> Alongside false causes came false cures. No vaccine yet? No problem. Here's a list of placebos that'll get you patched up. Okay. High-dose infusions of vitamin C, silver solution, touching your TV, kissing a shrine, spiritual vaccines, plant sap in the eye, special mattress, cow yep. urine, cow dung, yep. camel urine, sure. a cotton ball soaked in violet oil in the anus, miracle mineral solution. I'm sorry. A cotton ball soaked in violet oil. Coronavirus. And all other viruses, dip a cotton ball in oil and place it inside the anus before you sleep. It's an all-night thing, is it? Take a bottle of water to a cleric. I thought it was a typo. No, an actual cleric and have him spit inside it for blessings before drinking. Not a joke. 11,000 likes. I'm Googling that later. I don't believe it. In the anus. I don't believe Miracle that. mineral solution. Drinking fish tank cleaner. Eating fruit that looks like the virus. Treatment packs. <laughs> toothpaste. Okay. The biocharger NG subtle energy platform TM. Vegetarianism. Virus shutout protection pendants. Healthy uh, living. Radionics machine. Schwing, 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 ganglion. Injecting <laughs> house cleaner. Hand cream. Garlic. Bananas. Alcohol. Water. Ginger. Lemon. Mangoes. Durian. Onions, it's everything. If water is the one that I've heard a lot. Do just drink more water. Everything and anything is apparently a cure. 
But who needs cures? I've got something better. Okay. Add time. Soon. Soon we oh. will be together. They are the lady you killed, you missed a VPN. Or the lady killed you. Welcome okay. back. Today we're looking at Nord VPN. Sure. Gather round, everyone. Here's my girlfriend. Well, a friend. She's my girlfriend, but I'm not her boyfriend. It's complicated. Point is, she doesn't use NordVPN. If she she did, she could access international catalogs from her favorite streaming services. Uh Oh, shit, get down. (laughs) Now, let's pretend that this window is her computer security. Look how easily I can just snatch up all their data. Right, right, right. Jackpot. If she had used NordVPN, we wouldn't be looking at all her personal photos. Hey, look at this one. Oh, shit, we're busted. Everyone, cheese it. Who is... Who is this lady? Oh, nice. Now imagine this was you. And imagine this was a three-year plan with (laughs) 70% off as a three extra month. (laughs) He won't stop. I need to buy tickets and leave the country. Oh, no. No, not again. Got it. You gotta secure yourself with the board. Door VPN. Like, like, Encrypt your browsing with your VPN. That's fucking cool. Terrifying. No sweat. I can see from her browsing history that she is going to Japan. Finally. Some peace. There's no way he can find me here in Japan. <laughs> really? An Airbnb's Got Wi-Fi? Don't you know how dangerous <laughs> that is? Also, there's off. access to international <laughs> content. How did he find me? A snake pit! Ah, snake pit. <laughs> you're going, you're going to hell. hell. You're going to hell. <laughs> you fucking... Oh, fuck it. Shit, fuck it. This wouldn't have happened if you would... It wouldn't have ever happened. No, at least <laughs> Bro, that was weird, but it was funny. Supply chain. Who supplies the chain? The lockdown the had chains? some interesting carryovers on the agricultural to sector. Later. Let's talk about the sexy topic of food supply. Sure. You can roughly break goods into That's two categories. Slide. What's up? Commercial and retail. Okay. With all the restaurants and a ton of manufacturing shut down, the commercial side came to a <clears throat> grinding halt. Half of the stock had nowhere to go. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we could just send it to the supermarkets. No can do. You have to repackage, process, and deliver all of that stuff before the new expiration date and with a limited workforce. Right. Then you'd have to get the supermarkets to agree to take all that extra stock. And meanwhile, people aren't going to simply buy twice as many groceries. Yes. So either it rots on the shelves or the price drops below cost. What's the point? Woohoo! Cheap meat! So there's a big surplus. The supply chain had broken and you know what it's a in it's a different thing too because you have to always consider you know when you're working on a farm some of the animals need to be worked right like chickens don't stop laying eggs cows don't stop producing milk and you with limited staff you're even thinking even to get the stuff loaded might not even be plausible if you're gonna load like milk to sell let's say you have to sell 100 gallons just to keep the numbers easy right but it takes you 10 people to get that 100 gallons going. Uh, and you only have five, which means you can only get 50 gallons. But if you're selling 100, you have to pay for the transport. So you don't even pay yourself back for transporting. So it is literally cheaper to just say, fuck it. Let's only have like three people working. Take all day to get the cows milked and just throw the milk away. It's, it's literally a cheaper you know, a a cheaper solution. By week one of the lockdown, farmers all around the country are looking at their billions of dollars of quickly expiring crop with no one to take it from them. And they know that by next week, they'll have double that amount. I was about to say- Sandra, how many eggs do we eat a week? I don't know, probably 10? Why? Hmm, that means our leftovers (laughs) are gonna be about three quarters of a million eggs. Well. That's also the issue with super farming in general that people have been talking about. But with the supply and demand, just general conversation, you're like, bro, people are always going to be eating. So there's no need to worry about running out it, unless supermarkets literally close down, right? That's, a, that's an issue. I don't want 750,000 chickens. I guess there's only one thing to do. Break them. Absolutely. So the farmers began neutralizing their Absolutely. crops. 
That makes sense. Target neutralized. It was a slaughter. Oh, my cabbages! Millions of pounds of onions were buried alive in Idaho. Farmers stopped making grain and started making donuts. I was about to say, the grain is easy, though. Like, wheat farms and stuff like that. That stuff's easy, because it doesn't have to be double if you don't replant. You know, well, once you harvest, I mean, of course, there's going to be, you have them in different sections or whatever. And, and of course, it's hundreds of acres of land. But I'm just saying, you don't have to replant while supply is low. You know, like you don't necessarily have to. It's the livestock that's a, a, a real issue. That's a, a real Donuts problem. on their tractors all over the field, turning everything to compost. Yeah. Cabbages were being ravaged. The potatoes weren't being atoed. Boo. I have potato blood in my veins. I like Squash that. were being compressed. The dairy farmers of America estimated that 3.7 million gallons yeah. of milk were being dumped every day. Oh, he, he needs, needs some milk. milk. Thank you. But once the farmers had destroyed their crops, of course, they had to immediately plant new ones because demand could come back and you wouldn't want to get caught a whole crop cycle behind the market. Yeah, but it... Yeah. But that shit's greedy at some point. <laughs> That's how you know they really weren't hurting that much. Or they were hurting enough to make that decision. Like, my grandfather has skipped a, a, a cycle before and just been late. I mean, fuck it. They're gonna have, they, if the orders are coming in, they can wait for them, you know? But if you've got the money to do it, then fucking do it. Or if you need the money bad enough, I guess, then do it. So the cycle would repeat and repeat but they're and definitely repeat making money. until everything returned to normal. There's definitely other solutions than that. If that's what happened, that's just Zoom. fucking stupid. So everyone was locked in their houses. But work, school, and life had to carry on. What's 9 plus 10? And that's where Zoom came in. Simple to use. Able to host up to 100 people per meeting. Millions moved over to Zoom and it skyrocketed to number one in the App Store. Companies and educational institutions all jumped on the Zoom train too. Why not? It was so easy. All you needed was the room key. Even the boomers could use it. Can you see my dog? Teehee. Oh. Look, I can change the background. Yeah. Oh my god, did he fall? These are some of my friends from high school. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'll see you on Wednesday. But many weren't used to having a oh. camera pointed at them for long periods. Jesus. Some even forgot they were being watched. Very high standards and... Oh and my god. Like or didn't know that the camera had turned on at all. Oh, you're and then someone had a brilliant idea. What if I just published this room key online? Let them know. Dude, I've been in this thing for a while. No one said anything. Hi, uh, Mr. Knob. Are you joining at us? Do you have a breastfeeding question? Am oh my I fucking we're uh, fucking Mary dead right now, bro? Please. Good to see you again. <laughs> and what if I gave it to one of my favorite online creators? Perhaps some of the greatest live stream content to ever grace this humble platform. <laughs> Take out your number two pencils. It's time to learn. Who is this? I am uh, Asha Chamya <laughs> from Wuhan. Oh, stop. Too mad. Who let you in? Hey, guys, this is uh, Chris. Hey, guys, this is Joe Nuts. Are you in my class? <laughs> yes, I have tried for a student from Oh, the young girl, yeah. Class for a student from... Where do you say? From where? From where? <laughs> <laughs> what are we learning today? Does anyone uh, want to tell me I come to class late? And no one wants to tell me why? Why? <laughs> tell me reason! <laughs> you're wrong, uh, you're in the wrong uh, bro, there, bro. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> we all have no brain cells. It's fucking funny. I'm part of Zoom, I'm an employee of Zoom. Uh -huh. You're gonna have to press Alt and F4 at the same time on your keyboard. Don't do this. Because it's currently public. I don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. You guys are gonna start the next revolution in America. We hope. I mean, we can definitely use one. Revolution. I like the sound of that. How do you get on that? It was Hunter. Hunter let me in. Hunter, Hunter, why did you do this? 
Yes, it was. Don't lie. Don't, don't don't do that with your head. No, you did. <laughs> Who are you? What are you? <laughs> it's not me. No. Believe me, it's like Among Us. Please, believe me, no, please, don't. Don't eject me, please. Me, who am I? I'm a friend, friend, on your dead friend, 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 all sides, and you let me through the gate. <laughs> you let me through the gate. Who the heck is it? Oh my oh. god, what the? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is a realistic way where they could do anything about it. What's two plus four? Uh, two plus. Hmm? 21. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna wrap up this this thoughts about Natalie's story. What does it do? What's a shotgun gun? What does it do? What? History class. Oh hell yeah. And he's lost an election twice. Oh no, he's he, just, um, he's just like he's um <laughs> uh, He's like so confused he saw the cock and he was like what? Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about it now. Okay. So um you guys can open up the I'll give you a minute or two to open up. <laughs> Robert, take that off your screen. <laughs> Robert! Robert's gonna get some trouble! Robert's probably in his room right now just fucking freaking out. It's like, it's not me! I'm Robert, baby. I'm Robert, baby! Robert, how could you? But then they had a whole bunch of controversies, and a number of schools and companies stopped using the platform. Yeah. RIP. Even though the stock price keeps going up. Nature reloaded. Oh, we go, I'm gonna go back on them uh, fucking. With people streets. locked in their homes, nature was allowed to return to the unoccupied streets. The healing had begun. <laughs> Real happy world. Satellite imagery showed pollution levels dropping everywhere. The canals of Venice were changing from their usual feculent brown to a vibrant blue, as boats were docked and silt could resettle. From their windows, residents could see fish, algae, and other sea life return to the waters. But that wasn't all. Animals saw the free real estate and began migrating into the cities and towns. Cool. Sheep and whales took back the town and ruled over it with an iron hoof. Hungry monkeys in Thailand took to the city square as the tourists and who usually fed them, them disappeared. Hell yeah. Giant ducks were seen in London. Alligators in Florida were once again using the roads. Rats in New Orleans were... Being no, that's fucking normal. rats. Otters in Singapore. Oh my god. Are we the virus? Human beings are a disease. Bro, that is profound. That dude, dude. Maybe we will the real corona all along. Nature returned to New York for the first time since it was established yeah. in 65 million BC. We even had a good fake out on an extinct species, the Malabar civet, which hasn't been seen for 30 years. Oh my god. Although it turns out it was just a regular, sick Indian civet. Got it. Scooters were returning to the riverways. <laughs> Nil guy? I haven't heard of that. Cows had begun returning to the ocean. Cats Nature is was seen by some in London to a limited audience. Sambar were incorrectly using zebra crossings. Cute. And giraffes had returned to the cities. Nature Quack. is healing. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> anyway, I'm busy. That's the lesson. Here's a multi tool. Good luck out there. Please close the door behind you. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you for the video. Oh my god. Shit was great. Is this Jesus? Mahas? Ah, this is one hell of a twist. I know, right? Oh my god, it's Elon Musk. West yes. Musk. A double twist. Welcome home, X Ash A13. Ah, god. It's Obama. It's a triple twist. You're fucking Obama impressionist. Trash. Video over. The next one's almost done. Give me two weeks. Have you heard of incognito mode? Absolutely. It's basically the main channel now. New video every month there too. Look at this production quality. Keep track of video progress on Trello. Okay. Thank you, patient patrons. Thank you, NordVPN man. Thank you, editing team. Thank you, Obama, for guest VOing. Thank you, Neil Druckmann, for the worst sequel since World War II. And Damn. thank you for watching. Funny man, actually his wife. All right, there's another part of this that we are not prepared for. But it's the virus strikes back, and uh, we'll get into it soon enough. Tales of the virus. Uh, thanks for sticking with me.
I got like six parts of this video because my goddamn memory card is full as fuck. And it's like 3 a.m. So I need, I need to go to bed. But I love you guys. And I'll see you guys around. Have a good night. Peace.